Today, I'm doing a special collaboration with Love Me Hair to show customers how to care for their Afro Curly textured units. To demonstrate, I have their Afro Curly Undetectable Invisible Lace Frontal Wig in 22 inches. Afro Kinky or Afro Curly wigs aren't typically made to wear right out of the package, so we'll need to put a little work in. First, I shampoo the hair. I usually grab my Aussie Moist Shampoo. When shampooing, do not scrub the hair. Only dip the hair to work the shampoo in. We don't want to create any unnecessary tangles. I repeated the shampoo process a couple of times and now I am rinsing the wig. Now it's time to move to the next step, which is detangling the unit and defining the curls. First, I fill a spray bottle with water and I add a few pumps of Aussie Moist Conditioner and then I shake it up. Next, I saturate the hair with the mixture. These types of wigs can at times look dry, but it's because there isn't enough water and moisturizing products being added. Next, I detangle the hair that's been saturated and you will start seeing the curls pop. This section looks so hydrated and shiny. This is exactly what we want. You can also add a product such as a moisturizing cream or butter or a curl cream. What you want to do is rake it through the sections. I won't do this to the entire wig, but I wanted to show it as an option. Just know it's not necessary to stick to the exact product shown here. Experiment with different products to see which combinations produce your desired outcome. Now that I've detangled the section, I add a styling foam. Here I'm using the Nairobi brand. Add a few pumps, rake it through, and distribute the product with the detangling brush. Now I just repeat the exact steps on the top section. Now that the unit is detangled and the curls are hydrated and defined, I add a little foam to the hairline to smooth it out. This step isn't necessary, but I like to do it. Now it's time to dry the unit. You can choose to let it air dry, but today I will use the hooded dryer because I need it to dry quickly. Now that the unit has been under the dryer for about an hour, it's dry enough for me to continue styling. Look at these curls now that they are defined and dry. Because I like more of a smooth finish, I spray a little light holding spray on my fingers and then smooth it on the hairline. Here I'm using Luster's Pink Holding Spray. Okay, here's the final product. The curls are hydrated, shiny, and also have a little hold. At this point, if you prefer more volume, you can use the teeth of a comb to pick out the roots a little. Only do this at the roots though. If you move down the hair, it will disturb the curl and produce frizz. To maintain this unit, I use the same water and conditioner mix and spray this unit lightly. I do this once a day or every few days. You are not trying to saturate the hair. You're only trying to add moisture. As you wear this unit, pay attention to when it starts to look dry, frizzy, maybe weighed down with product. At that time, you will need to shampoo the unit again. So you will just need to follow the steps that I showed at the beginning of the video. Here's the finished product again. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Enjoy your Love Me Afro Curly Unit.